that everybody should strive to continuously become better. Yeah, sure. mm-hmm. but as he said mm-hmm. earlier, there are different standards that women put onto men, so it's harder to become that one percent because not only do you have to be good looking. Absolutely, fit, I'm not saying that everyone's yeah, going don't, to become I don't think, that. I don't think it's that hard. I really well, don't. But I, I, think no, I think no one's right. f-ing trying. No one. Like, but, you know, when I meet kids, when I meet guys that are under the age of 25, they do nothing. <laughs> they do nothing. It is there is a small let's say the top 16 percent of men. It has never been easier to get into that top 16 percent of men. Dude, take a class on copywriting on like learn how to build a sales funnel seriously learn affiliate marketing there's the so top. many ways to make like, like 400 grand by nature, oh, by the top one percent. no no but, but, by it, nature, but it's one of the things and then go to the gym six days yes. a week there's so many things bro there are books you can read it is so accessible for men to become that top but when are we going to talk about men's mental health and maybe their lack of ability to really get to that spot because I don't feel well, I don't I really see men talking about that and I don't really see women talking yeah, about that either because we have to perform it's like our mental health when we get there but you that's know. the part that we need to break down right because if like if we're talking I'm considering walk instead of talking to talk well I'm considering like what's happening now in like you know mainstream social media and like uh, like the United States and Western society is like there's a movement for men that's happening right now and it's, sure it's evolving and I, I agree that mental health with men has been has always been quite neglected but I think that there's mental health epidemic going on that is completely obscure and out of blown out of proportion there is this idea now in society that if you are not continuously happy all the time that there's something wrong with you and there's something wrong with your lifestyle our ancestors understood that life was trying and difficult and complex and the road to happiness was long and trying and now Facts. we think that we can just walk down the street and be this happy butterfly all the time and if we're not we're doing something incorrect why do you think that is i think social media i think feminism has told this uh, told everybody this mm-hmm. because if you are not making your own way as a woman and then men are neglecting their duties because they're told that they are not going to ever be enough I think that there's a like a multitude of reasons for this which perpetuates the chasm between men and women understanding each other being able to like really being under just uh, being able to understand it uh, yeah like in what way uh, for example like like how much effort do you think women like the average woman puts into what oh, hold on oh. just hold that thought oh it's hold on I have to re-trigger it because there was a curse word I guess <laughs> or not I think it give it one sec it'll re-trigger I don't. I don't necessarily know that men and women have to understand each other in order to get uh, I don't along. Think so either. And here's the thing: if you are a woman and you have short-term values, you you were saying men, ha- women have to do something, or men have to do. No, they don't. No, they don't. That's the point. Go ahead. Oh, okay, here we go. Oh, is it not gonna? Okay, yeah, it's it probably okay. Uh, they are disgusting it? predators and online that needs to be nationwide banned. I grew up in this digital age. I know the majority of men are watching highly advanced and addictive prawn starting at the age of 12 and are being gro- groomed by social media. By the way, yeah, if you, I think it probably, he's saying prawn. So. OF and por- the prawn, prawn, prawn stars. Yeah, the yeah. porn industry also has a lot to do with this and the decline of masculine men in society. You can watch prawn and still have a job and traditional and women. a masculine <laughs> man. That's just an addictive personality. Like, um, just like you can get addicted to it, drugs the, That or industry drinks. specifically breeds addiction, first of all. Second of all, there are a lot of things that m- corn does to your <laughs> mental health, to your oh, hormones. Wow, okay, that's coming in. $99. Speaking of distractions, Damn. shout out to Priya. <laughs> Brian, tell her about the time I saved you from that bear slash tiger slash monkey hybrid. <laughs> Sure. Ronnie's a chump. <laughs> Let's grab a drink next time I'm in NorCal. Wow, you now Would have love to hear about your beautiful horses. Aww. You now have two suitors tonight. Um, <laughs> this is a bachelor. You have Ronnie's. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, tell me, do you guys remember before when you guys are like, well, women have to change? No, the f- they don't. <laughs> no, they don't. I think I think they should, but oh, don't don't don't, don't point this out to me and tell me women have to change because in the short term, what will happen is they can all. I have a, I have a, I, we had a girl on the show the other day. These girls did porn, uh, had two kids with a dude, still films with other guys, comes home to her husband who like allows this whole thing to happen. No, you can find a dude. You just probably aren't going to like him very much. There's so many mm-hmm. what are called uh, not superfluous. What's the word? Um, 
surplus men. That's what uh, Dr. Richard Reeves calls them. There's so many surplus men out there because they aren't taking the time to garner the abundance in their life. And once they have that abundance, then they, they can set the boundaries that they want. And when they have those boundaries, then they will, if someone cheated on them, they would say, okay, uh, you cheated, whatever. I'm going to move on to someone else. I'm not going to go back to this because I understand what my boundaries are, that right? Part. They're not going to take a job that's going to abuse them. They're not going to be with a woman who doesn't treat them the way that they want to be treated. But that's what a high status man would do. A low status man is not going to do that. A low status man is going to chase. He's going to do everything he can. He doesn't have the ability to cheat. Um, Priya, so you have Ronnie C <laughs> and Sticky Side Down now. So there's like a... I think there's going to be a bidding war when it comes to your I two suitors. Credit card on Nala. Uh, so he wanted me to tell you about that time that I saved him. I, oh, he, excuse me. He saved me from various wild animals. So yes, um, Sticky Side Down did. There's, there's various stories. He saved me from a bear, a tiger, and a monkey. No, it's a hybrid. At the same it's time. One, oh, excuse one. me. Okay. It was a hybrid somehow. It's a, it's a chimera. Where was a, this? Ooh, chimera. Good word. It was in Pasadena for some reason. I don't know what was going on. Some weird shit was going Listen, on in Pasadena. They can all have a baby. How but, do you not believe uh, in, in natural yo, selection? Yeah, stick down. Thank you very much. Okay, so uh, I'm trying to recall where we were. Uh, I, I just want to make sure we address all of these chats that came through. So the previous one was from Mr. Average Joe, and he says, can you ask the guests what they believe a man and a woman should bring into a relationship, and ideally if the man or the woman should bring more to the table? Define bringing more to the table. Yeah. Believe mm -hmm. a man and a woman should bring into a relationship. Uh, we can do one of those. Yes, so, of if or the woman should. Okay. So, what do you think a man brings to the table? What do you think a woman brings to the table? <laughs> should totally bring to the table. Um, I should say. I mean, I feel like it's in the basis of things. It should be like the same thing, like communication, loyalty, uh, genuine love. You know, those should be both between both people and then like um supportive partners you know like it should just be both in the same with the basis of it um which is i'm not sure if they're asking for like the basis or anything but it should sure. just be both ways for the sake of time i think i need to limit the question a little bit because i'm gonna i'm gonna average joe if you don't if you don't object what do you bring to the table go ahead um, i like to cook and i like to be um somebody to be at the house um, i'll be a very traditional in that way Okay, and I'll, we'll come back to you, then we'll continue going around. What do you bring to the table? Oh, um, <laughs> I, uh, I think I'm not looking for a relationship right now. I'm working on myself, and so I can be able to be like, this is what I bring to the table. I'm still doing like my healing and inner work to, to know what that is exactly. Uh, what I bring to, well, in a relationship, besides, you know, respect, communication, whatever, I just your personality, right? Everyone's like, different i think I, I like my personality and i'm fun and that's going to click with someone that's what i bring to the table that's different from in a relationship obviously you're going to meet your sure. basic needs but okay. um i'm a really good communicator so like most of our problems will get solved so there will be no problems and we will be okay well, didn't you just beat the shit out of your life yes <laughs> uh, don't start hey, there's no problem anymore <laughs> I ain't got no and, problem. I, and i and i solved the problem right yeah, yeah. No problem. what is that <laughs> Okay. I'm a problem it's not solver. domestic abuse because they broke solver, up. Finally. That's all I'm saying. It's not oh domestic abuse. Goodness. They broke up. That yeah. wasn't his man. That wasn't her man anymore. That, that <laughs> you know true. what I'm saying? It's, that's all I'm uh, saying. It was uh, not domestic. It's yeah. abuse. It's just not domestic because uh, they're not sorry. together anymore. Thank you. 